Welcome to this video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at Windows 10 S, which is Microsoft's newest version of Windows 10. Designed primarily for the education market, uh, but it does ship with, with the um, Surface laptop. And uh, later this year, we're going to see more devices come with Windows 10 S. It's now available for MSDN subscribers as an ISO, so you can download and install it yourself. Uh, if you're an MSDN subscriber, and that's what I've done. So I'm running it here on a virtual uh, machine and Hyper-V on my Surface Pro 3, which is my normal Redstone testing build, but this is Windows 10 S, as you can see here. So what's different about Windows 10 S? Well, there's one main difference between Windows 10 and Windows 10 S, and that is you can't install uh, third-party programs on here. You can't install EXEs. You can't run anything that's not a Windows Store app. Because it's designed for the education market, that means that the only things that get it on here are apps that are approved through the Windows Store, which means the virus tested and anti-malware and all that kind of thing. So you're not going to install a lot of malware or bad software on here when you're trying to find a, an Adobe Flash converter or something like that and it installs toolbars. This is just anything through the store. So before I show the store, I'll show you what happens if you try and run something that uh, NEXE. Here I've got the Chrome, Google Chrome set up. And uh, if I try and run that, uh, you get this prompt here. So it says for security performance, Windows 10 S only runs verified apps. So you can't run that. Any app you want, you have to get through the store, which is fine. There's a lot of good apps in the store. You've got um, many more apps coming as well. So iTunes is coming to the store. You've got the Adobe products coming in, Photoshop, that kind of thing. So there's plenty of apps in the store, but you're not going to be able to install an old EXE that you had or run an old EXE that you had from you know, 2003 that you used for a specific task. This is store-based apps only. So you can't install EXEs on there. What about something like Office? Well, on this um, MSDN version, the apps links are there. So you see PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. If I go into those, actually take to the store, and then you can't access the store because I don't think they're fully available yet. But you'll be able to go to the store and download Word, Excel, uh, PowerPoint, Outlook, that kind of thing, and sign in with Office 365 account. I have got the mobile versions installed. The Get Office app is on there, and that gives you takes you the links to the mobile versions, and I've installed that there. So there's a... Uh, word mobile on there so um windows 10 s isn't designed for to for you to be installed yourself it comes your machine comes with it and they'll have the links to the the store apps of window of office 2016 what else is different on here well there's a couple of restrictions and around default apps let me show you so you can change, you can install apps on it, like I said, through the store. But what you can't do is change the default browser. So if I go into default apps, you'll see I can change the default mail program. I can change the map. I can music player, photos, videos. But what I can't do is change the, there's no option on here to change the default browser. There is on Windows 10, but there is uh, Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro, but there isn't on here. Um, so not even the option of using um Internet Explorer Edge only. Internet Explorer is installed on here, so you can you can use it, but uh, you don't get the option of having that as the uh, as as default. As you can see, I can go Internet Explorer on there as well. Now another restriction because you can't install or run EXEs on there. Maybe uh, if the device drivers for your device come as an EXE, so say Lenovo or HP or um, Dell, they provide the driver pack as an EXE. That's not going to run because you can't run the EXE on here. But I did notice that you can uh, install drivers if you've got the proper driver files. And um, what do I mean by that? So if I go to Device Manager, and I'll show you what I mean. So here's Device Manager and... I can do update drivers and you can do a Windows update do it, or you can browse for a file and you can pick the file. You can even uh, do the old have disk option and browse for the inf file. So um, if you if they provide the drivers in the proper format with the inf file like that, then you'll be able to install drivers. Most drivers should come through Windows Update and be automatic. If you buy something like a Surface laptop, well, you don't have to mess about with drivers. Uh, they all come 
are shipped in there. Uh, one thing you can't do, you can't join a domain from this machine, uh, from Windows 10 S. You need Windows 10 Pro for that. Um, the Surface Laptops uh, en en enables you to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro for free for a limited time. So you see I can do that connect uh, option and um, on Windows 10 Pro you get the option of join a domain here um, but on this device you don't get that so there's no join domain. I can join an active directory as your domain but not a Windows um, domain and like I said you get the option of changing to Windows 10 Pro by uh, activating it with a product key and you can go to the store and buy Windows 10 Pro uh, for $199. Like I said, the Surface laptop actually uh, has a free uh, upgrade option on there, which is for a limited time only. So those are the main changes that I've seen. Um, for example, you couldn't install antivirus on there. You use Windows Defender, which I'm quite happy with Windows Defender anyway. Um, there is one other thing I thought was quite interesting. But you, the, the Windows Insider settings are available on here. So it is possible to um, go on to the Windows Insider program and get new builds of Windows 10 S as they come down through the Insider program. I'm not sure they're actually publishing any builds at the moment. But um, the options there as well. So that's Windows 10 S. Essentially, Windows 10 just preventing you from installing any third-party apps. Everything has to go through the store, which... Once the store gets more and more apps in there, you can see it's probably the future that uh, for Windows. Um, they don't have to be special UWP apps. Developers can convert desktop apps and submit them to store, for example, iTunes, uh, Spotify, and so on. So that's my quick look at Windows 10 Pro. Go on our YouTube channels and a uh, quick look at Windows 10 S, I should say. Go on our YouTube channel and you'll see all our Windows 10 videos, and including all the Insider Preview builds, what's coming next to Windows, and lots more.